Let me tell you something. How you do anything is how you do everything. A lot of people come to me and they're like, Alex, you know, I want to improve my life. I want to get in the best shape of my life. How, how have you done that? And to be honest, like, it's not a secret formula. The secret is consistency. You got to realize you might not be there right now. But if you stop right now, you're not going to be any closer than you were. You got to realize you might be struggling for three, four, five years and you got to accept that. Because I know when you're looking at that destination, you can see it way down the line. You can see what you want. But in front of that, there's fog, there's dangerous territory. It's hard to get there. But instead of looking at all of that, that's very, you know, unappealing and looks dangerous. Look down at those two feet you got and I want you to take a step. Now, one step may happen in an hour, it may happen in eight, it may happen in a day, in a month, who knows? But keep taking those steps at the right direction, and I promise you, you will be there. You just gotta keep going. And you gotta realize what you want is something not everyone is gonna get, so it's gonna take sacrifice, and not everyone's gonna understand what you're talking about, they're not gonna see your vision, but you gotta just keep taking those steps. Keep taking it one day at a time. Keep the right people around you, intelligent people who see your vision. They can understand your vision. Because having someone in your corner is very powerful. Having someone who's gonna say, you know what? You're doing great. I know you're I know it might not be there right now, but I see you putting in that work. That's huge in this world. And that can be your mom, that can be your best friend, that can be your girl, your younger sister, who knows? But you gotta keep going and take it one day at a time, keeping those right people around, and most importantly, realize that you, you, know, you might have taken 20 steps, you might be halfway there, and you might think, man, it's the end, I don't know how I'm gonna keep going, but just realize it's not the end. And I know that's you know weird to just hear like, oh, it's not the end, but just, it's not. There's been tough points, rough spots in my life, and there will be very rough spots in your life too, and you gotta realize it's not the end. There's gonna be days when you're like, man, I fucking hate this. Life is going to be hard. It's going to test you. But remember, God puts you through things to make you learn from them. God doesn't put you through a struggle without a way out. And you got to realize that, you know, as I referred to that vision you have down the line, the only reason you can, you can get there, the only way you can get there is if you keep moving forward. These struggles that you're going to face, they're just warping you into who you want to be. You just got to keep going. Because God has things for you and store down the line. But if you're standing right here, how can he show those to you when you're not even there yet? You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Complaining means you ain't putting in work. Complaining means you ain't putting in work. Think about that for a second. Complaining means you ain't putting in work. Because yeah, it might be hard. And you can, you know, take a second and be like, man, this is tough, but you gotta keep going. That's like the only real option. And I want you not to not to be hard, but I want you to realize if you aren't willing to put in the work, someone is. Someone is. Look at you. After all these hard things you've had in your life, you're still there. You're still there. You know, a boxer who's in a fight, and I'm no, I'm no boxer, my roommate actually boxes, but a boxer is dangerous when he's not scared of getting a punch to the face no more. And think of it, you've had a lot of punches in your life. I bet you didn't see all those coming. At least I, I didn't see all those coming. But I'm still here. And after a certain point, when you've taken some blows, when you've taken hits, when you've taken things that were very hard in your life, you're not so scared to get hit in the face anymore. You're just in there, you're loose, you're agile, you're ready to get in that fight. But unless you took those hits, you wouldn't be fearless no more. Now you're like a boxer who's just focused on his opponent. He's in his flow, he's in his sink. He's not scared of getting hit in the face anymore. And now his mind is free to focus on what he really wants to focus because he's not scared of the fight. He's not scared of getting hit in the face. That makes you so powerful to not be scared no more. And you might be like, you know what, Alex? I hear you, but I failed so much, man. But let me tell you, why are you looking f at failure as like the worst thing in the world? Failure is just learning because if you didn't fail, how would you know to not make that same mistake again? If you put all your money into a crypto thing that you never researched and it failed, it's like, good you failed. Now you know you got to do some research. Now you got to know when you're benching that you can't go for a one rep max. You got to warm up, you know, incrementally to get up to there. You can't just go to the gym right away and put 225 on. You're going to pull a pack like, come on. If you didn't make those mistakes, so how would you know? Failing is learning. If I never failed, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wouldn't be talking to the camera. 
Like, think about that for a second. Success that comes at a price. Success comes at a price. And it's about asking yourself, are you willing to pay that price to become successful? Because most people aren't. And that is no hate on maybe you watching this video, anyone in life. But most people, they give up because life's hard. And of course, like if it is hard, why would you keep going? But you got to realize if you want things that mo most people don't have, you got to keep doing and you got to keep doing those things that most people aren't doing. That might mean going to bed early on a Friday night. That me might mean not drinking with the boys on Saturday. That might mean not watching movies with your girlfriend all day Sunday. That's what it might mean. And trust me, when you're at that destination, you're not gonna think, man, I gave up so much time and you know, I, I, I shouldn't have done it. You're gonna be like, man, I'm there. And you're not gonna realize all those bad things along the way. Now they'll be in the back of your head, of course, but you're gonna be like, man, I, I stuck to it and look what I have now. That might mean having enough money so you can buy your mom a house. That might mean having your wife not have to work, she can be home with your children. Like that feels pretty good and that will feel pretty good and you won't be, you know, upset about all you sacrificed to get there. You'll be proud of yourself. But you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Me, for example, when I was trying out for a soccer team when I was in high school, it was one of the best teams in the state. It was a top 10 state team in the, in the state of Washington and most people thought I would never make it. I was an underdog but I was every single day on the soccer field practicing. I was doing crunches in my room, pull-ups. I was, I was running around or we live on a hill. I was running up the hill at night. I was doing that stuff. I was practicing in my garage and in winter. I was kicking the balls against the wall. I was going shifting through cones, you know. I was doing that stuff and I made that team and I sacrificed a lot. To make that team i wasn't going out on a friday night i was ha working hard all the time around the clock i was trying to eat my meals because i was a very skinny dude at that point right and when i made that team it felt good and everyone you know doubted me they're like wow alex like like good for you you gotta realize like i said it before but like if you want what most people don't have you can't be doing what most people are doing extraordinary results take extraordinary people with extraordinary visions and efforts are you really like, do you really think you've been giving it your all? Because I know there's another gear that you can shift into. You might be a fifth gear and you might be going 100 miles, but you can shift into six and then you can unlock 120. Realize that for a second. The best things in life don't come easy. Relationships, jobs, getting in great shape, that doesn't come easy. So why are you so quick to give up, bro? Like, like think about that for a second. Most success, we think of success as this, but you know, success mostly like looks like this. And then finally at the end, when you think about giving up and you think about quitting everything, it goes up. Like, just keep going. Just keep going. Don't give up. It might be hard. You know, people might be doubting you. You might be living with, you know, parents that don't support you, siblings. And they might think, man, like this kid, what is, what is he doing? He's off in the clouds and all this stuff. But I'm giving you permission to keep going. Give it an hour a day at least. You all got an hour a day. Just just, just keep going and realize you've been through so much, but you're still there. I'm going to end this video with something you know that I say all the time. I know it might be hard. I know you might be struggling. I feel you. I really do. But take it one day at a time. Keep the right people around you and realize when you think it's the end, just realize it's really not.